Hello and thank you for watching this video. In this video, we're going to talk about the effect size, the meaning of the weight and the interaction term between weight and the mean difference, which we're going to calculate. Let's have a look at the data first. So what we do see here is we do have 10 studies and the first three columns starting with column two, obviously, um, is the number of observations, mean and standard deviation, why is there one behind each column? Meaning, for example, most of you are, have a medical research background, and for example, you have disease, and you have two treatments, and now you want to run a meta-analysis or investigate it even further, with which treatment you can have some results, right? So that's um, how we usually run the meta-analysis, right? So the th first three columns starting here are treatment one and column four, five, six is treatment two. We do see here the number of observations, the, it, the mean values and the standard deviation. So. In this video, the purpose is to calculate the weight for the studies and then the interaction term between weight and the mean difference. Having said that, we start generating the mean difference. That's quite simple. We generate a new variable. Let's call it for obvious reasons MD. And that is just the mean one minus mean. And what we're going to do is we're going to browse and then we can see it created a new variable called empty with their values, right? So that was step one. Now we generate the variance of the mean difference and let's just call it variance for simplification. And you may want to look up the formula in each text box, but now you can just see it here. It's the standard deviation to the power of two divided by the number of observations from treatment one plus, and then the same one for the other treatment divided by n, Here, missing a bracket. And then we can browse again because yeah, Scientists have trust issues, right? <laughs> so, and then we see the variants are created. So, next step is to generate the um, standard arrow. And that's just the square root of the variance. And that's how you get it. So, I'm not typing in browse again. What we do is now we need also the confidence interval, meaning um, the lower level and the upper level, obviously. Let's create first the lower level. Let's call it double L. And that is given by the calculated mean difference. And the lower level is minus, let's say, to the level of 95%. That is 1.96 multiplied by the standard error, right? And we do the same for the upper level where we just um, can switch some letters. And for the upper level here must be a plus. So, and now we can have a look at the data. So we can see all variables are created now. There are only two are missing. Obviously the weight, the W, let's call it generate W, equals, and that is just one divided by the variance, meaning it's the inverse. And then further, we want to create also the uh, let's say the interaction term between weight and mean difference that equals 
w multiplied by n d, right? So, and then you may want to um, to to generate the sum of those two variables, but I'm not doing it right now because now we can see that the weight of the first study is given with the generated variable w that is given here and also then if you want to have it um, in interacted then you see it here right so I can show you quickly how you may want to run it in um, in, in Excel but before that if you're interested in how to to label that just leave a comment below and I'm going to show you that otherwise it's not that important actually but if you want to do that for your uh, inner piece just leave a comment below so in Excel you may want to run that also in Excel as you can see here's treatment 1 and treatment 2 and we do have here the formulas and you see they're, they're quite the same and also quite easy, right? So you, you just pause the video and then you can see them, yeah? So that's pretty much it. If you do have any questions, leave them below. If you may want to subscribe, please subscribe, like and share. <laughs> and I wish you uh, good luck in the research to come. Thank you. Bye.